Yo guys, welcome to my brand new podcast. You guys know that I love to chat. So, do you fancy a chat? Yeah! Woo! And today, I had to get my first guest. And my first guest had to be the famous JD brand ambassador, heavyweight champion of Bista Village, Oxford's finest... My girlfriend, Chloe Burrows. I thought you weren't going to say my girlfriend. I was like, I'm going to have to add that in at some point. (laughs) Welcome to my podcast. Thank you for having me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I didn't even say that as well. Yeah. No, you didn't. See, she's always got my back. She's always got my back. I'll subscribe. But yeah, so the Love Island first uh, episode of season eight Mm -hmm. is now out. And yeah. has now Love Island's got on the way. Like, damn, damn. Do you miss it? Yes. I think I miss it a lot, a lot as well. I feel like I don't think about it much anymore. But watching it back just took me right back, and I was like, oh, I miss it so much. The memories in it. I would go back. You would go back. I would I to do. You would go back. Not like that, but like <laughs> to do that summer. Like if someone said to me, if you could do that summer on an endless loop for the rest of your life, I would do every that. Summer. Like yeah. Every summer, set date. Do go that. Back, do go this. back. Do that experience. Does that mean you would do all the things again? Like mm. I left you at the fire pit. You would do that again. I was good of you to bring <laughs> up. <laughs> no, what I would do. Castle Moor, you. you would do that again. I didn't really do anything. Castle Moor <laughs> just vibed and wanted to cry every day. <laughs> <laughs> like no. no I've done everything so it's done now <laughs> going back number one I would like not really care what anyone thinks in the first few days oh was you was you big caring yeah I was so bothered about the girls because they were such a clique so I didn't want to step on anyone's toes yeah you was proper scared about it innit I was when you first so not- yeah and everyone obviously noticed I took a while to come out of my shell alright that was you took a while so did you though no but if you really think about it the comparison from you mm. the first week and you now, yeah, to- totally two different people to me personally. I don't like groups of girls, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was too nervous and I just, I think everyone was in couples and I genuinely didn't feel a connection with anyone at first, I won't lie. Me and you didn't speak for four or yeah. five days. We didn't so speak to her. there was that. So I was just like, what am I doing here? Like, what am I? I thought there'd be different people. I thought I'd vibe with someone. So I'd, yeah, it did take me a while to You know why we didn't speak? We didn't speak mm. because you didn't choose me in the recoupling. I fancied you at first. You were my number one. But then when you said you were 22, I was like, no, because I am 27 this year. Well, so. I'm 24. Next, next year. year yeah yeah it's only like three years i've gap. never been my sister's boyfriend is older than you and she's young, way younger than me what does that mean don't know i've never been what with does that mean no i've touched that what does that even mean <laughs> what does that even mean what does that mean i just have never been with someone younger than me and i never ever thought i would ever go with someone younger than me how well how you how you how's your experiences now it's going quite well it's going oh, so quite all you well people out there don't be afraid to go down below don't. And that was a bit rude. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't be Always afraid go, go down, down below. below. <laughs> anyway, back to the Love Island mm. season eight. They yeah. got a new villa. They do. What are your thoughts on that? Because I'm feeling like their villa is a lot bigger than ours. Mm. And you know what? I'm kind of jealous. In a way. In a way. It's. An, I think their villa is nicer on paper. But yeah. I'm so glad they're not in my flat. In my villa. <laughs> If they were in my villa, I'd be annoyed. Like, get out. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I could be able to cope with it. Yeah. Honest. So other people who watched us in their villa must, must have been be like, weird. get out. So I'm pleased that I'm not like, oh, that's my bed and that's my mm. dressing room. Do so, you find it weird? Obviously, like, Love Island on. This is the first year that Love Island's come back since mm. we've left. For me personally, it is weird seeing... I don't know if I like Alice. it. I don't know if I like it as well. That's what I want to say. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not... I don't know if I like I don't like I'm excited because I've always loved Love Island and mm. watching it. I will watch it and I'm such a big fan of the show, but I do feel weird. I think I might I don't know if I like it more or I like it less. I think I think I'm, I like it in a different way. Yes, because you know all what's the ins going and outs. on. Yeah. I mean yeah. 
I don't know. I'm warming up to it. I will watch it and I love Love Island. I think it's great. I just don't know if it has the same nostalgic feeling that I used to for me. Do you think that's because you know what goes into it now? So, I've... like, you know that, like, remember uh, at the start, mm. we saw the girls walking in. We was like, they've done that probably 10 takes. Yeah. <laughs> 10 takes to do that. I think it, I don't want it to take away from my Love Island experience. Mm. So I'm like, my experience was the best experience. So I don't like, I don't want it. second to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm watching it and I'm like, mm, is it like, was my experience? I don't want it to be better, you know? Oh, so you don't, yeah. You don't want yeah. this year's to be better than your year. Not like to watch, <laughs> but I'm like, my experience is so fantastic in my head. Mm. Like nothing could top it. So when I'm watching it, I'm like, this isn't as good as me being in there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But on Love Island as well, mm. the they recoupled. Yeah. But it wasn't it wasn't like it wasn't like the normal way. No. They changed it completely, switched it to the public chooses yeah. who's with who. Would you have liked that or Well, I didn't have to do that bit. As so. a first bombshell, would you have liked that? Yes. Cause then I feel like everyone would be fair game. Because yeah. the couples weren't based on them choosing each other. Like, you wouldn't know if there's a bond or something fancy. So I would have gone in and known that there's a better chance for me with someone yeah. than I did. As a viewer, I would rather see the, the stepping other one. forward. I would too. I'd love to see people But as forward. an islander, the new way is way better. Yeah, yeah. Because you, yeah. You, you don't get an awkwardness yeah. of yeah. stepping Yeah, people always get coupled up. You're always, you know, you're not going to be picked last, yeah. Oh, yeah, picked last. Is but as a viewer, thing. bring it back. I want to see who's in Yeah, bad. it's brutal. That's the, that's the like... Well, you've been through the, it. Yeah, no one stepped forward. It was brutal. I would have stepped forward. <laughs> you would have stepped forward. Yeah. Because oh. oh. you don't run in and go, I'm 22. <laughs> right, so you wouldn't have known my age, didn't it? So you would have been yeah. like, yeah, him. That would do. And yeah. then what? And then what? I would have said, you would have said, how old are you? And I would have said, 22. And then what? And I would have looked like Amber standing in front of Dammy. Help me. <laughs> 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 talking about that talking about that do you think the pairs are the right pairs at the moment no who don't you think is the right pair you got i don't want Paige to be with luca <laughs> Luca. <laughs> yeah he scares me oh what why the way he was like in his first conversation so what's your favorite sex position mine's yeah. this da, da, da. that's uh, weird I mate you could go straight into you Weirdo. Barely know her name. <laughs> <laughs> Barely know her name. You talk about sex mission. Yeah, I think that's very strong. strained. Even in the second conversation, it probably doesn't come I up. I think you just wait for that to pop up in like, in a, a game or something. Or something. Yeah, yeah like, don't naturally. just do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want it to be with him. I feel like he wanted to just say what his favourite sex, sex position was. The oyster. Yeah, I feel like he wanted to get that off his chest. And that's why? why? I don't why? Know. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I feel like that's why. Let me I just tell you my favourite sex position <laughs> quickly. <laughs> say it like that. So you said, what's yours? You're right. Um, mine is this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. But Luca with the tats, so I thought, I thought. Someone said they were Happy Meal tats, and I think that's the best tweet I've seen all year. <laughs> so, so bad. It's funny. They, they, they are just like literally. Sporadic. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? It works for him, I guess. So There's you being political. <laughs> it works for him, innit? It? it works for him. <laughs> why not? Okay, so you think Luke and Paige, not? No. Not compatible? No, not she's compatible. too nice. Too good for him. You've got Dami and Amber. She hates him, so <laughs> sorry. I think he's really nervous. Dami looked at the start like he didn't want to go into Love Island. He no, looked he like lo he, he just he applied for the wrong show. He or looked angry at the situation he was in as if he'd not watched the show before. Yeah. Yeah. He looked like, why am I Yeah, here? what's going on? I don't know. But then again, maybe it could be nerves because obviously the first day is literally Everyone's like nervous. so horrible. Or like, do you think he's too cool? Because I thought he was cool in his clip. See, after the whole coupling up start mm. bit, I've really started to grow to him. I'm like, oh, already like. He's kind of cool. Like, he's cool. I thought he was cool. And he was wearing those um, trainer, the Lambin trainers. Oh, does that automatically make you cool? I think they're cool. Because it's <laughs> yeah, hard to yeah, rock so. them, you they know? Are, yeah, they are hard to rock. Yeah, so are. if you're going to do it, then it's like, okay, cool. That's cool. Talking about trainers, mm. I cannot. I cannot, I cannot. He's got Crocs on. That's you a like big Crocs. dub for me. That's a big dub for me. Crocs are in for some people. Not me, but you. Yeah, India was feeling the Crocs as well, so that's a big dub for She's him. She's cool as well, She's so cool. if they're cool. But 
India wasn't feeling his creps on the first night. Neon Yeezys is a wild choice. Why has he done that? Just Why are your toes night? out in the evening? <laughs> That's the question of life. Why are your toes out in the evening? You're in Jamaica. <laughs> You're in the Love Island Villa. You're in my Yorka. <laughs> but your toes away. No, I mean, yeah, comfort first. Do you think, like, the first night, Did especially... You Maybe his trainers go got like, confiscated as well. You have to go out with your like good outfit. That's what I thought. When I went in, my first Not outfit for the first night was... In fact, it wasn't that no, good, to be fair. You were wearing a polo, weren't you? A no, grey top I was never wearing and cargos. A I was wearing grey top and grey cargos. Yeah, and Yeezys. Yeezys, I remember. Yeah. I'll see. Lasting impression. That is it. You give a lasting impression on the first night. That's what you have to do. But well, you wore Yeezys, he wore Yeezys, following in your footsteps. You wore Crocs, I wear Crocs. Oh my God. Watch out, everyone. He's Nigerian, I'm Nigerian. Is he Nigerian? Yeah. Wow. He's in Nottingham, I'm in, I was in Loughborough. Close enough. <sighs> Snap. That's like, who is it saying, my, I can anything. My name begins with Y, your name begins with Y. Oh. His what game was saying? abysmal. What did he say again? My name's again. What was the other one? I can't remember. It wasn't great. Yeah. You're in Love Island. I'm in Love Island. Probably. <laughs> it was, the game was abysmal. Yeah, I can't lie. I wasn't proud of him there, but you know what? <laughs> it's as you said, nerves. First day, you're a complete stranger. You don't, don't know anyone. You haven't even got someone in your team. Exactly. You don't. You can't go to anyone to chat to them mm. because you don't know who's with you and who's like yeah who's your Cody yeah exactly hey, it's all nerves isn't it you was nervous coming in I was nervous coming in and yeah fuck so, that was a really horrible evening it was good but so scary on that you come in with a brilliant brilliant voice note oh. and it come to me as well and I still have the that's voice that's so note. weird yeah. that you had it went to you yeah it is isn't it yeah. and look who would have thought maybe Love Island knew do you reckon? I don't know, maybe. wonder if they thought when they saw me and you, like, all oh, they'll go together. We asked. We asked the producers. And they said, oh, we don't think about it like that. It was a very political answer. I, when I asked, they said they, they didn't think we, would, we was going to go together, me and you. Really? Yeah, they, they didn't think we was going to be together. Because you said about not ever going for someone younger than you. Yeah, but everyone was younger than me on the fucking series. I was literally the oldest, nine, apart from Teddy... We wouldn't have gone for Teddy, so... Because he was with me at Slim that stage. Pickings. But yeah, the producers never thought that we would be together, so... We proved them wrong, so... Hey, boys. How are you? You're an idiot. Chloe here. <laughs> I just arrived and I'm outside the front of the villa. Excuse me, PTSD. Like the the <laughs> you guys decide you want to come and join me. I'm embarrassed. Why? <laughs> I had a script. I didn't sit there saying, let me send this voice now. I wasn't going to say it like real. that. I was going to say, uh, your voice is different. My voice. Yeah, your voice is different now than it was then. Well, they put me in a port cabin so it sounds sexy and that's what came out. Oh, <laughs> and I wasn't going was to talk like this. How many times like, did you do it? Oh my God, like at least seven. Seven times? At least. And they were like, no sexier. And I was like, what? I like, was looking at my sexier? chaperone like, get me out of here. What, so you're just in the portal cabbie in the back, just, yeah, hey, with boys. Henry, and I was just like, hey, boys. And they were like, no, do it again, but sexy. And I was like, hey, boys. And they were like, do it again. And I was like, hey, boys. I was like, I don't want to do it. And then they were like, do you want to listen to it? I was like, no, oh, go no. away. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. But you know what? That's on the internet forever now. Good. That's mad. I'm glad. And you you know what, though? I feel sorry. I felt sorry for you then, to be fair, because you... First impressions, you had a date with every single boy that was inside the villa. Yeah, they fed me to lions. That was a bit bad. And you like, guys were so shy as well. Like, no one was helping me out. I you was shy. It. That's why you had like a... It was like I'm a business shy meeting on my you. own. It was like a business meeting. What's your name, age, and what do you do for work? Um, you were and all like... And then you went down the line. <laughs> went down the line. Went down the line. Went down the line. How would you conduct a five-man date then? You would have just went like, oh, I like you. What's your name? Uh, no. What? Why can you do that? Mm. You just cut off the people that are, you have no interest in. Mm, maybe. I don't know. Look, I did what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. And then you coupled up with Aaron. Yes. Yes. Aaron Francis. Talk me through your coupling up with Aaron Francis. I think he was the oldest one there. <laughs> <laughs> so you just went for age. <laughs> you went for age. No. 
I fancied you initially. Because we had a chat right before the recoupling. We had a chat before the recoupling. So I thought maybe she might just pull out a last minute turnaround and pick me. I almost did. But I'd already made my decision with, you know, everyone. Uh, That's... That's just crazy. That, it, like, could, it could have been you, but it just wasn't. Yeah, and also, if, like, the thing is... Maybe we had, like, is, five chats or a little more than One of the things that happened was on the first day, I went to go to the toilet and Faye was running after me and she was like, who do you fancy the most? And I was like, oh, Toby. That never got to me. And then she told Kaz and Kaz was the girl I got along with the most and Kaz, like, stopped speaking to me and I was like, oh, do you know what? I'd, I need a friend. Yeah. So I left you alone. That never came back to me. I never heard about that. Ever. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Well, Faye, did, Faye told Kaz, I don't know. I think she told all the girls. But yeah, and they were all kept asking me, who do you fancy, who do you fancy? So yeah. But Aaron Francis was the one like, so if I, it was you first, but then you said you were 22. And then I was like, Jake was the only one speaking to me on that day and like give me a bit. So I was like, right, it's going to have to be Jake then. But then when I chatted to him in the morning, I was like, this, I'm never going to fancy you. Like, <laughs> it's just nothing there. And then I pulled Brad and there was not, I thought no you were going to pick Brad. I honestly thought you were going to pick... That was it. I thought he was going to pick Brad. No, no chat. I thought Brad was the Brad. one for you. And then when I sat down with Aaron Francis, we really got along. Like, we really got along. And I was like, cool, well, I'll spend my time with you. So it's mm. from Aaron Francis. Oh. What a whirlwind that was a mm. year ago. A year ago. And now all of these people are going to have to do the exact same thing that we did. Talking about that, David A is you, David but in boy version. I want him to win. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's David. You, in, in boy version, he's I just think he's to... funny. Like everyone's having serious times, and he goes, "I want to look at the gym." Like he didn't care yeah. about anyone in there. That is what I like as well. Yeah, he just, like, literally come in and just like you know what, like. And so I, I think the best people on there just yeah yeah free holiday <laughs> for you. Don't forget the task at hand. But I feel like you need more people who don't care. Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people that care in and they're like... Because you, if you send someone in who knows what who they fancy and stuff, I feel like that's still not as good. You need someone who's open to anything and up for Sees causing trouble. Yeah, yeah. So you know what, like, I'll go with the wind. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you went for went with the wind? Mm, I don't know, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I, feel I was like open-minded, I but I went I through it. Wind. And I just like... No, do you know what? I wasn't because I only really fancied you. And I was like, I don't really fancy anyone else. So. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we're not then. I was with the wind. Yeah, you I'm were sorry. loose. That's not <laughs> nice. That's not nice, is it? I would say I was just finding my feet and now I found it. You know what Thank I mean? God. <laughs> Good for that. <laughs> but anyway, on to the new season of Love Island and the contestants. 19-year-old Gemma. Mm. Do you think 19-year-olds or teenagers should be? She's nearly 19. Nearly I 19. feel like it's quite young. The show is very intense and I think life yeah. experience helps you a lot in that show. I didn't have no experience though. And you were running around like a lost puppy. But that's what they want. No, I, I'm not saying that. I'm meaning like dealing with the really intense situations and stuff. I do think you have to be quite hard skinned. Yeah, I don't know if you're at 90. I just don't I know. Think she's more, but she's I think I'm more enough. concerned about like David, David Day being 27 and her being 19. Like that's, I know we've already seen them illegal. kiss. Yeah. I don't know how I feel. Like that is eight years. It is like, yeah. Does I he know? know? Does, he, Does know? he know she's 19? Does David know? That can make a lot of people uncomfortable, that. I feel like it's going to be quite controversial. How would I... you feel if you came in and kissed like, a 19 Like, if I'm, I'm 26, right, so that I would have to kiss an 18-year-old, yeah. you couldn't oh even pay gosh. me. Like, I would no, never about, do that. How would you feel if you came in and you didn't know the age and then, like, you kissed or... Oh, kissed? I would be livid. You would be, you would be angry, wouldn't I you? I would be livid. No, I'd because also be like, thinking, all my friends are going to disown me. What the hell? You think, like, what the hell? Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not too fond on the the 19-year-olds. You you have that, that um assumption that everyone is of mm. age. Maybe, like, way. I feel like sometimes... Like, I don't know, maybe she's been through a lot and she's quite mature for her age. We don't know. But on first impressions, I just, just hearing 19 and 27, I'm just a bit like, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. He was eight. That's young. He was eight and she just got born. Yeah, like he literally was almost in secondary school. 
And on that as well, anyway, Je- Gemma. Yeah. Her attitude. I said it stinks. Yeah, you said it stinks. And I say a lot of things without (laughs) thinking. A lot of things. I felt like her attitude wasn't on it. I felt like she was being a bit rude, but she clearly was trying to make out to someone that she wasn't interested in those boys. So, Mm. but I was nerves. Nerves. Nerves might make overthinking situations. You know, maybe she's so nervous she's not really thinking about what's going on. Trying to be bougie. Yeah, trying to be bougie. Like, and there's yeah. a lot and I feel like the people you don't like at the start are the ones that go on the biggest journeys so it is a journey Love wait Island for the is a journey yeah. no one really realises that no. everyone everyone at the start that is hated normally most of the time yeah. most of the time progresses and obviously yeah yeah gets better as it goes on yeah because she might she, she'll learn on the show someone will pull stays. her no if Joe someone will pull her up on it like you can't go through and like even like saying my surname and stuff I don't know yeah. Because if you said that to someone else, like, yeah, bless Liam from Wales, obviously quite polite. Yeah. If you said it to someone else, it'd be like, what are you talking, what's your surname then? Do you know what no, I mean? No, it was Luca. Luca said Bish. Oh, was it Luca? Yeah, Sorry. Like, yeah. Bish, what? She's like, what? No, not no, interested. It's a bit out of order, isn't it? But then was she like, you know, when, when you're like four years old and you fancy the boys, you punch them or something in school. Do you think yeah. she's doing that? Because she's quite yeah. young. Like, you give like, and be like, nah. Pushing them and shoving I them. I do it like when I was like <laughs> in secondary school, I remember like playing with boy and be like, no, I don't fancy you. And I did. Oh. So maybe she's doing that. Yeah, reverse psychology in a way. Yeah, again, life experience, you're flirting changes. Yeah. So you did a TikTok. We did a TikTok. Yeah. And we guessed who was going to be coupled up with who. Yeah. Do you think we got that right in a way? Not far off. We said. No, we got it Andrew, wrong. Andrew Tasha. Yeah, but we didn't we say I can't remember. I can't lie. <laughs> but I feel I like think... these couples are irrelevant. They're not based on who people fancy. Yeah, and you so can get not... a vibe like yeah. they're going to jump ship. And so Do you think all should. of them are jumping ship? Yeah. You don't think anyone's no, sticking with anyone? I thought Andrew and Tasha, that, but then he straight away was like, oh, Paige and Gemma, Gemma. and Tasha was just there. So but he did say Tasha as well, I think. As he well. did stick her on the end. But Tasha stuck it on David Day with the Is dance. It, I think it's David. Uh, David Day, David. Yeah, she did. David. I'm bloody good that she did that. I was pleased she did that. I was and also, she did all of the dares. Gemma didn't want to do it. Yeah. She, Tasha did all of them. Paige jumped in. Like that's good vibes. I, I feel like you got to do. You got to throw yourself into the experience. You, have if you don't throw to yourself do in the experience, then yeah. you'll, you'll miss out. You miss out. Yeah. But on Tasha as well, in, I think it's very incredible that she obviously pulled everyone to the side and she was like, "Oh, yeah, that's like, brave." She didn't have to, to do strangers, that. She didn't you have know. To say. Like, it's not something she you didn't have, have to do. exactly. Yeah. But to like a stranger's like. She don't know these people. She's just it's met day them one. Today. Yeah, today. And she was like, oh. No, oh, shout out. That was brave. That, that was really brave. Incredible. Like, and also, everyone was so polite. Like, um, India straight away, jumping in. Yeah, I feel like you need it people It shows like good that. character, I think. Yeah, I feel like, you get this every year, but I feel like the cast are very knit until someone David. pisses someone off. Come on, David. Do Some, it. <laughs> you think he's going to be the first to cause trouble? No, I think it, like he'll come in, do whatever. I feel like, no, because the minxes come in a bit later. They come in before Casa and Moore and then Casa and Moore. Minxes? Those, you know, you get like a little minx. Like What's a, a minx? Millie. Oh. Or a little Lucinda. Someone, to, someone that like all of them are going to be battling and for. And they all just go, ooh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're on their way. The troops are on their way. So no, but I don't think these are... Who knows? No, but we've been saying that Andrew gives that Hugo vibes. Yes, he does. Well, so yeah, Andrew 100%. could turn on one of the original boys. Oh, I see. <laughs> he could turn on one of the original boys. <laughs> and he so he should if he's saving the best person on the program. I didn't get saved by Hugo, did I? I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So he's second best person on the show. I love what <laughs> Hugo did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Anyway, let's forget about let's forget about that. Let's yeah. forget about that. So, if you was in the villa, mm. who would you step forward for? None. It would be like I just none of them are number one my type. Number two, no one's giving off any large energy. Number three, no. 
Nice, Chloe. No. That, was, that was the right answer. I was testing you. Who used that for? No for? one. All of them, he said. No one. Obviously. I said no one. Because <laughs> I knew the right answer as well. Did you? Yeah. Well done. Let's see, I was testing you and it worked. <laughs> Don't test for me. It's for you. You fucking passed. <laughs> 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 you fucking fast. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. I'll, okay, I've got. Let me let me give a little downer on this on this little a downer. Podcast, Are yeah. you breaking up with me? No, not right now. Maybe at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> How did you feel mm. when I didn't choose you in the recoupling and I chose Abby? I've honestly never hated someone so much in my whole life as much as I did you that evening. I hated you. I thought you were a pussy. Genuinely, I hated you. Hated you so much. How much out of 10? Like 100 million. I just, like, I've, what's the better word for hate? Despise. Yeah, but like, despise despised you i hated you so much oh my god idiot <laughs> i'm getting angry thinking you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay let's switch it i came back from casa and more with another girl by the way yeah well i'm gonna put that in there but let's just <laughs> tell tell the truth came back from casa and more um and then Came back to you. How did you feel then? Not surprised. They always come back. <laughs> oh, 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 we're playing that game. No, I think after you mugged me up, I was fuming, absolutely fuming. But I was more annoyed because I did like you. I wanted to not. And then when we were in Casa Amor, I don't know if anyone knows, I actually went to welfare and like wanted to leave. I was you wanted like, to leave in Castle yeah. I didn't fancy anyone, didn't have a vibe, and I was just like, do you know what? I tried, got mugged off, like, just get me home. And what did, what, what they just... They, they were like, just like, nah. trust the process. Tr- like, you need to, like, Chloe, like, this is the experience, just trust the process. Mm. I was like, I can't, like, what am I looking for here? Like, someone's going to walk in, I'm going to really fancy them. Like, you've just sent in five people, I don't fancy any. Like, come on, what are the odds? Yeah. And then, obviously, you came back from Castle and more. And then you was like, round two. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you expect Did you expect that? Because no one in the UK expected that. Well, if I tell the honest truth, I don't think I said to Millie, so obviously we had the fire pit and then we all went to go get a drink or something. Yeah. And I said to Millie, I was like, fuck it, I'm going for round two. <laughs> Just brought Mary back. So I kind of thought there was still something. So I thought, you can't rate Abby that much. I came and up I, to you straight after. And I dumped you. No, you didn't. It was like the end of the evening. And you're like, where's my hug? And I was like, I don't want to fucking hug No, you. it wasn't. Yes, it was no, it at wasn't. the end. You're like, we've not. And then we went for a chat. No, it wasn't. It was when we went up to the kitchen to get drinks. No, it wasn't. You'd spoken to everyone else. You and Abby were sat down there having a chat. Then you and Mary. And then you spoke to me. Don't even lie. It's on TV. Yeah, it's Apart on Apart from our it's chat, on it's TV. not on TV. Our, TV's <laughs> n- our chat is not on TV. Oh. Yeah. Because we had a chat that night. And then I knew it was on. And then we knew, we knew it was back on. <laughs> we, knew, we knew it was no back on. No one saw that chat. That's just in the they archives somewhere. They yeah, they, they, they just kept that one no, away from you everyone. You guys had to wait wait for that a few days. I was thinking mm. the right time to pull you, to actually have the right chat. Was it with a bowl of cookies? <laughs> yeah, it was with a bowl of cookies. I know your soft spot. <laughs> Cookies. Yeah. What was it? Chip Ahoy? Me yeah, having a chip Ahoy. <laughs> it was. Uh, yeah, I'll. But even then, you didn't say much. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> you just sat there in your bug out. I like, would just put it in the air. So. I was like, so. Waiting for you to say something and you just weren't giving me much. And I remember looking around like, is this what I've been waiting for? This chat. <laughs> <laughs> so in Castle Mall, was you like, you must have been thinking about me in Castle Mall. Yeah. Hate or? Hate. Fancy oh, and hate. Fancy and hate. Yeah. I was thinking about you in Castle Mall too. Why are you? Yeah. I said it in a clip. You saw it in the clip oh, on yeah, movie you night. Oh yeah, you did. You're like, if I was with Chloe. 
producers must have heard that and thought, what? Is he on <laughs> drugs? He must be on drugs. He said the wrong name. <laughs> 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 definitely, definitely must have thought, what the hell is going on here? Funny. The archive chat. Mm, the chat they've got archived. Yeah. Straight after Casper Moore. Yeah, the, in the evening. Do you remember the chat? Yeah, it was like really near the end of the evening. Like we've been outside for hours yeah. and you came up to me at the bar and you were like, what, do I not get a hug yeah. then? And I was like, no, why would I hug you? And you but were I like, did get a hug. Yeah, I did hug you, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean what I said. And it was arms over the neck and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then Big we hug. we went and had a chat in the back, in the back corner. Yeah, Nikki the beach. beach. Yeah, Nikki the beach. beach. And you were like, so? Oh, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. I was nervous, you know. I was nervous. Why? I was semi-dripping. Like, my armpits were semi-dripping. I was like, oh, okay, cool. This is a big one because I need to know if she's feeling Del or if she's not feeling Del. Oh, I need to know where I'm going here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need to know where we're going. So then I, was, I think I was like, so. Um, so you were like, so Del. I was like, Del, so yeah. Mary. And you were yeah. like, oh. And I was like. Oh, <laughs> we both knew. Oh. I was like, what, do you like him? And he's like, no. Because I was like, he's, I, I think I said, he's not your type, is he? I think I said he is. <laughs> <laughs> to wind you up. I can't remember. You were like, oh, he's not your type. And I was like, he's, I was like, he's such a nice boy. Yeah, that's it. And you're like, is he a nice boy? And I was like, yeah. And you yeah. were like, so. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I knew. That's what I knew. Yeah. It was open because the energy you gave me there mm. was not like standoffish energy, like I hate your energy. It was like, <laughs> I love you so much energy. It was not love at that point. It was love. <laughs> A burning flame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then I saw you go off and you were like holding hands of Abby whilst you were speaking. So I remember going into the beach hut like, I hate him. Like, what, what is going on here? Keeping on your toes. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so glad I don't have to go through that again. Like that tested my character. So like, it's made me so resilient. It's like, I thought I was nice. <laughs> you humbled me. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. But yeah, it was brilliant times. <laughs> I wouldn't change it for the world, to be fair. Would you not? No, I wouldn't. Good. I wouldn't. Would You would change it? No. Nothing. I wouldn't change nothing. Yeah, I would go for it again if we ended up in this moment here. Wow, that was romantic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can get down with the romance. You can get down with the romance. There you go. <laughs> oh, what, what else have I got for you? We almost left. We did we almost, almost le left Love Island. We did almost walk out. Yeah, we did. The mighty Love Island. We was just going to leave. Sack and just it off. Sack it off. Run into the sunset. Why was we going to sack it off, Chloe? Because I'd had enough of... No, I'm <laughs> joking. We had enough. I had... I've got a bit of bite on my foot that I can't switch. I'm sorry, it's going to make me look so weird. I had the worst toothache of all my years of life. It was very bad, wasn't and it? And like, it got to, it was right after the talent show. I couldn't even look. I was having a conversation with Anne Simpson and Mary and I stopped speaking and I genuinely was in so much pain. Mary was like, oh my God, we need to get her out of here. So mm. they walked me off to the producers and then... I was in my beach like, heart at that, at, that, at that period in time. No, you were sat at the fire pit. Was I? Yeah. I, just, oh. I really remember. It was after you in that little football outfit. But um, I walked out and I was like, get me out of here. Like, get me on a plane home. Like, I need to leave now. Like, yeah. please, please. And Amy, the producer, was like, what, what's going on? I was like, my tooth. Obviously, they knew I'd had toothache, like, all day. Mm. I was like, get me out of here, please. And then they put me in the hideaway and, like, gave me some painkillers. And they're like, look, we're going to, like, do something in the morning. But you need to sleep. Like, you must be exhausted. Like, let's deal with this tomorrow. And I was like book me a flight and back my bag, please. Like, get this too far, my thing. And then you came in and saw me, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I was like, I went to the beach and I was like, what is going on here? Like, is she, is she dying? <laughs> She's been rushed to hospital? <laughs> What's going on? No one was telling me nothing. Yeah. Like, they were like, strict nothing, telling me nothing whatsoever. Only Aaron and Mary was like, oh, she's got bad toothache. We don't know where she's gone. Mm. I went out, spoke to the producers. They were like, 
we can't tell you right now. We just want you to do your beach heart, carry on like nothing's happened, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not going back in. <laughs> and I caused a big scene. I was like, I'm not doing anything anymore on Love Island. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not doing my beach hearts. I'm not chatting to the camera. I'm not even even going to go in back in oh, until I see baby. what was <laughs> So I come into the hideaway, they finally let me. And then I remember coming in, I was like, you're right. And then you just jumped up. You jumped up, you're scared. <laughs> yeah, you're That's scared, usual, yeah. And then um, you, you was like, oh, I want to go home. I want to go home. And I remember, I was like, let's go then. Mm. I remember that. And I, re- I was I was ready to go, to be fair. Yeah. Was that, that I was didn't really care because it was near the end. And I was like, I'm in Right before time. the baby challenge. Yeah. Right, but the, the, the night before oh the baby God. challenge. Oh, my God. And in the morning, I woke up with that baby thing. And then the next, oh, my gosh, yeah. So if you, see Chloe, day, if you see Chloe and a baby, really annoyed. I hated the baby because I was in so much pain. Not that I would have enjoyed it anyways. I wouldn't have enjoyed that challenge, but... You was in absolute pain and no one knew. No one knew. And like, I remember you came and left the baby with me upstairs. I was like, oh, you must hate me right now. <laughs> I'm in so much pain and you're giving me this baby. Like, what is going on? And then I remember with all the girls, you'd gone to golf and all the girls yeah. were like outside and I couldn't speak. And like, it just kept coming in way, like too fake, obviously you can't avoid it. And I just passed out on the bed and Faye like came, was like, come here, I'll look after your baby. And I remember thinking like, this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I'm having, I remember laying on the bed and the baby was crying and I was just like, I don't care. What's going this on? This is what I'm dealing with right now. So Faye had two babies. <laughs> yeah, Faye saw me right out that day. We didn't win though. Thanks, Bay. <laughs> oh, good. She sorted me out that day. So, life after Love Island, we've got our own flat together. Yes. We're in it right now. Yes. Brilliant. Chloe and Toby's yeah, sign. I didn't give her Should away. be Toby and Chloe. Why? I'm the oldest. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, we live in a brilliant flat. Mm-hmm. We just come back from holiday. We have. Today. Today. We have today. the best jet lag ever. Yes. And that is why we're recording this at. 2 a.m. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got we've just come back from Jamaica. We've got Chloe doing a vlog on Jamaica. I got my vlog doing on Jamaica as well. So check that out. Yeah. So how are you doing after Love Island? <laughs> on a personal note. <laughs> Not well. No, I'm oh, joking. Damn man. <laughs> I'm good. I feel like this is more than anything I thought would ever happen. So you I'm didn't just... expect this. No. You joking? I had the big Chloe Burrows. Queen of Bista. Trust me. You didn't expect no. Queen of JD? No, of course <laughs> not. Like, yeah, working with JD, which is like sick. It's like, some, like it's a shop on the high street. Do you know how cool that is? And like mm. everything they do, I feel like no one's done that I get to do with them. Like, ah, traveling the world, taking yeah. pictures, yeah, living my life, going to part life, going living to your best away. island life. Living my island life. <laughs> Island boy. <laughs> Island boy. No, I'm really happy. Aren't you? Yeah, definitely. Are you happy? Yeah, definitely. I've got a flat mm. with my girlfriend. My girlfriend. With my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. Shout out to Jake. You're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. Because you're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. <laughs> because you're my girlfriend. <laughs> because you're my girlfriend. You're my girlfriend. My girlfriend. <laughs> my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. I got a flat with my girlfriend. Um, Don't say it again. <laughs> boo, man. Yes. Um, and just general life, being able to do this is sick as well. Yeah. Brand new podcast. I wonder who else I'm going to get on it. Comment mm. below who you would like to see because you can't get me every time. I can't get Chloe every time. She's contacted. She's contracted to Go Chloe on. Burrows FC. So comment below who you want to see. Maybe some other cool people. They don't have to be Love Islands. For like people not from Love Islands, it's quite fun as well. Huh? Yeah, it could be anyone. Anyone in the world. Anyone in the world could be David Hasselhoff. He loves Love Islands, so <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Just to wrap this off, mm. I've got a couple of questions from you for you. Is that? Oh yeah. From the people of the gram. Ah, oh, scary. Instagram below there. For the people of the gram. If you want questions on the new people that come on the podcast, it'll be down there. Okay. Question one is, would you guys like to see your sisters on Love Island? 
Yes, Bridie would bloody you in it as well. <laughs> so yeah, she has boyfriend, but she's a mini Burrows, though. Yeah. She's a mini Chloe Burrows. She's mini, but she's bigger than me. <laughs> she's better than me. <laughs> Bridie's better than you. Bridie's way funnier than me. Oh, not as good looking, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Would you uh, see Shauna on there? I don't know. I wouldn't like to see. I'd like to see my sister on there. Why not? I don't know. It's just a bit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How protective. She... Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're the I wouldn't like to see here. a boy chirp to not my sister. It's a bit weird. No man's dropping game. My sister's just having it. <laughs> you drop game. Exactly. For a whole summer. So I know she how people drop it. games. Yeah. So what if she's the one that gets first right now? I don't think I can do it. That's how you feel about your sister getting mugging off. But you did it to me. You just really did it. No, but you found, you found happiness at the end. What if my sister doesn't find happiness at the end? God, it's deep, that. Yeah, good point. And she's like 19 or something anyway, so... Too young. Too young. <laughs> too young. And what's she there looking for love? Yeah. She don't know what love is. <laughs> 19, you don't know what love 22, is. 22. Three years older. Yeah. 22, you know what love is. <laughs> Great. Uh, other questions is who's your favourite girl who's your favourite boy of the new season season 8 I like India so and far. Paige they're my favourites India and Paige you have to pick one so far it can change Paige after today's episode Paige I feel like we saw more of her though yeah she did get a lot of screen time she got a lot of screen time so I'll pick Paige today uh, girls I'm going for India I'm mm-hmm. going India. If you go Paige, I'll go India. Then joint together, we've got Paige in India. Okay, okay, yeah. Then boys, oh, David. Davide. My guy, Davide. All day, Davide. Oh, what first bombshells, they just link up together. Yeah. Special bond. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with Ikenna. Really? Yeah, even though he wore them neon His game was Yeezy. so poor. Is it? Is it poor? He was like, your name's I, my name's I. <laughs> Yeah, I could use that on you. Don't. My name's my second name's beginning with A. Your second name's beginning with B. A B C. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah, but I see. Um, I don't say similarities, but I see yourself in s- him. In a way. Oh dear. S- in a way. Girls run away. No, you can find someone at the end. Remember, he's VT as well. There's 3,000, there's 3 oh, billion girls. Oh, that was girls. really sweet. Someone's got to like me. Like I didn't exactly. think that was quite sweet. Come on, man. Okay, yeah. looking for girls, no, man. No, he's quite looking sweet. For, looking for girls. So I'm going for Kenna. You're going for Davide. David. Who's your least favourite so far? Ooh. My least favourite girl is Gemma. And my least favourite boy is Luca. My least favourite girl is... I'll go with Gemma at the start. You know what? Redemption arc. No, yeah, like we know yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, we know that, yeah. We're all going to love her yeah, eventually. exactly. When left. she starts coming out of her shell. It wasn't her best app. Um, Boy-wise, I am going with Luca. It's just too much. Don't. Don't like leave leech. sex. Yeah. Leech. Yeah, you just can't be asking about sex straight away like that. I think that's too much. Wild. Way too it's wild, man. Someone's daughter, man. In fact, let me not even preach. Michael that. Owen's door. Gemma's Michael Owen's door. He said it's a page. Did, oh, yeah. You're page be mixed on the up. way. Be mixed up. Fuck. Page's supposed to be a favourite. <laughs> Don't um. trust me. I'm a true liar. <laughs> uh, this one just come to my head. This one just here. Not come to my head. When you two getting married or having a kid? <laughs> um, pass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pass. <laughs> Is Andrew giving you Hugo vibes? Yeah, we addressed yeah, that. Big we got Hugo that. vibes. Yeah. Good luck, mate. Okay, who's going to be the biggest player in the villa, boy or girl? Player. I don't know. You don't, you don't know yet? I think Gemma might be a bit of a man eater. I think she just goes through boys. And yeah, yeah, I think she just goes through them. No, yeah. no, yes, no. Mm, player out of the boys. Gemma does look like she... No can... one was giving me player vibes out of the boys. Luca looks like he can be a player. How? If he can If he secure... could draw one girl. Draw one girl with that chat, please. Oh, very... He might just have bad chat for the f- for Paige. Maybe another girl he can charm. With his tats. <laughs> <laughs> India. 
I know, but watching that episode, I thought I she was really sweet. I think she's really sweet. I thought she was really, really nice. But, in but we've not seen her chat with boys. Player and stuff, man. I, I want to see that. Yeah. I want to see guys cry. More, yeah, more India, please. Yeah. Amber looked like she might be a player or like wind boys up a bit. Amber looked like she's warming up to Dammy. Yeah, she did a little bit. Dammy's cool though. He could go either way. He can either. He might be a player. He can go either way. Can't read him because he's yeah. just not expressing on his face. Yeah, bones. you don't know if he's happy or not. Yeah, could be really enjoying <laughs> himself. We'll or he could know. be having a horrible time. Yeah, we will never know. <laughs> we would never ever know. Um, answer that. Answer that. Answer that. Okay, last question. Out of the cast. Who do you think will be eliminated first? It's a hard, it's a hard question. Well, it's got, it's, so a boy's got to pick a girl. Yeah. And then the girls will pick. So the boy that I think that won't get picked out of all of them is. We're assuming, we're assuming that a boy is going to go home because there'll be an overload of, there's an overload of boys. If you match everyone up, hmm. who Liam. is the person? You in think Wales. Liam? Mm, Liam from Wales. Because Gemma's tossed him aside. Luca and Paige are getting along. I'm going with Luca. Damien and Kenna look kind of In safe. fact, no, I'm not going with Luca. Liam from Wales. I think Liam and Paige have got something going on if David picks Gemma. Oh, yeah, maybe. Liam goes to Paige. Luca then. Andrew. Luca with Tasha. Andrew. No. Like, we don't know. We don't, we don't, we don't know. We mm. couldn't even give you a guess. I feel like Love Island, everyone's got a part to play. Mm. And we don't know who would, what them parts are yet because it's too early. It's way too early. Way too early. So. But if anyone's going to win, it's going to be David. David. <laughs> David. Day. If David. anyone's going to win, I think it's ready and ripe for India. There you go. Why not have India? I just think she's got support on her back. Okay. Because she's cool. She is cool. Anyway, that is the end of the podcast. Thank you so much, Chloe, Thank for you. being on my Happy first ever podcast. Anytime. Are you going to be in the background when I have other people on? Yeah, if I'm in the house. Maybe. But guys, remember, this is a new channel, so you need to like and subscribe because we need to get up in the world. We're also going to try to put this on Spotify as well, so you can w listen on there. Peace. Peace.